Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning about mathematics. Our topic for today is inequalities. We are going to be learning on graphs of simple inequalities. So we are going to pre-present um, our inequalities on a graph, that is on a number line in a graph. But now we are going to work out simple inequalities first before we go to the compound inequalities. So for example, if you want to represent the value of x is equals to 2. So equals 2 means that x is actually 2. So we will go to the Cartesian plane on the x-axis and y-axis. So when you go to the x-axis, you will go where 2 is. So the values of x are actually at 2. So we are going to draw a straight line on 2 and it should be bolded. Bolded telling us that x is actually part of part of the values of x. So we do not have greater than or uh, less than. So our answer just becomes as it is like that. So let's represent this. So in this case now, x is greater or equals to 2. So when you have greater or equals to or an equals to in your inequality you use a bolded line so we are going to still on the x-axis on where 2 is and we are going to draw a bolded line on the values of 2 we form a line that goes up you should be having a straight uh, use a ruler in your case so we use a bolded line and then the next thing we interpret the inequality and it says that the values of x are greater. So we are going to take all values that are above 2 or 2. So we are going to shade the unwanted region. And the unwanted region in this case are all values below or less than 2. So we are going to shade this part. Because the values we want are going to be above 2 or more than 2. So that represents that inequality. Right, let's do another one. So this one is x is greater than 2. But you notice now we do not have the equal sign. So how do you represent it? We still go to where 2 is on the x-axis. But now instead of drawing a bolded line, we are going to draw a, a bold line. We are going to draw a dotted line, which tells us that 2 is not part of the values of x, as you are interpreting in the previous uh, lessons. And x are all values that are greater than 2. So we do not want any values that are less than 2. So we are going to shade the part that is behind or less than 2. But remember, 2 also is not part of the equation. So you notice on our line, the values of 2 that we want for x is anything above 2, but 2 is not part of it. Great. So let's look another one. So this is x is less than 4 or equals to 4. So you go to the x-axis once again and you go where f, f 4 is. In this case, because there's an equal sign, we have to draw a bolded line. So let's do that. Uh, draw yours using a ruler. So this is what we have as our as our x is uh, uh, is equals to four. So it is less than. So all the values of x are less. So any value that is below four is considered as can be a value of x. So the unwanted regions are the ones that are above four. So we will, we will shade the opposite sides to show that these values that are greater than 4 are not needed. So x can be any values that are in the place that is not shaded. And 4 is included. As you can see, we have put a bolded line. Let's do another one. So in this case now, the values of x are less than negative 1. So you go where negative 1 is. But since there is no equal sign, we are going to use a bolded line because negative 1 is not part of the values of x. 
And remember it's on the x-axis, the x-axis and the y-axis, you always be told if to use which. So we will take all the values of x that are less than negative 1. So that means all the values that are greater than negative 1 are unwanted. So we will shade this region like that. And that forms our inequality. So, in this case, now we have a y-axis, but we have to do a little bit of some calculation. So, we will do the same way we were doing in the previous calculation, which we are going to uh, subtract to this side and subtract to. So, this is going to be y plus 2 minus 2 less than minus 5 minus 2, as you are doing. So, this gives us y is less than minus 2, minus 5 minus 2 gives us minus 7. So, values of y are less than minus 7. So, you go minus 7 on the y-axis. And since there is no equal sign on our answer, we are just going to use a dotted line. So, use a dotted line using a ruler. And we want all values that are less than negative 7. So the ones that are below. So the ones that are above, which are greater than negative 7, are not needed in our inequality. So that forms that inequality. So let's work this out as well. So now you notice this one is where we are dividing with a negative as we have done uh, previously. So let's do this question. So we are going to subtract minus 3 both sides. So this is going to be 3 minus x greater than 7. So minus 3 minus 3. So this is going to be 3 minus 3 minus x is greater than 7 minus 3, which is going to be minus x is greater than 7 minus 3 gives us 4. You divide by negative 1, negative 1, so this becomes less. We change the sign and it becomes minus 4. So we will go to where minus 4 is on the x-axis, so this is where minus 4. And since it's, there's no my, less or equal, it's going to be a dotted line. So we show that dotted line. And we want all values that are less than 4. So all the values that are greater than 4 are unwanted. So we shade this. So our values are going to be any values that are less than 4. And negative 4 is not part of it. And that brings us to the end. I hope you have been able to see how we did that. So you can get more questions and practice using uh, your graphs. Uh, graph books, uh, you draw the x-axis and the y-axis, solve the simultaneous uh, simple equation and get the values of x and then draw the line. The key thing to note here is every time you have an equal sign in your inequality, it needs to be bold. The line needs to be bold. Anytime you don't have an equal sign, then the line needs to be dotted and it needs to be a straight line drawn by a ruler. And then the next thing that you need to remember as well is whenever you have now the condition, if it's less than or equal sign, we have the wanted region and the unwanted region. So all the wanted regions is not shaded, but the unwanted region is shaded. So you shade the sides that are not wanted. And that's how we represent a simple inequality. So see you in the next lesson. 